guys just thought i'd um show you what i've been up to in my craft room um my craft room is a <laughs> is more like a bit of a junk room as you know i love pulling stuff apart but um i found this old clock um in a cleanup probably a year or two ago um, maybe a year ago and it's been out in my backyard um because I, I threw it out there hoping it would rust away, um, which it has started doing. I've got really dirty hands from doing this, you can see. So it was in one of those wooden boxes with these little guys on top. I don't know if you know what type. I've left the wooden box out the back because now it's full of spider webs and leaves and everything from being out in the backyard so long. Um... And I started pulling it apart yesterday. I didn't get too far into it because um, it was late at night and I was a bit too blind to see. So I only pulled a few little, you know, screws and little bits off this guy. Then in the middle of the night, I heard this like buzzing sound. I was like, what is that? And I went looking and what I found is for some reason... This little guy has started to work somehow. So look at the little gears in there. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's one large gear on the left that is slowly ticking around. So when I say work, I mean move. But isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, so someone threw this old clock away and it probably didn't work properly. It was the box was busted but I don't know why when I removed only a couple of pieces it started um spinning and so it was spinning in the in the middle of the night which was a little bit freaky um and I had to put something on it to stop it but what I was thinking is um I'll finish pulling it apart and look at all those little gears in there um which and little rusty metal bits which I thought would be great for a steampunk journal like I know a lot of people buy those little chipboard um, pieces um, but these are proper little metal parts um, and I will try and pull it apart in a way that I don't know if I can keep the little um, cogs in there right right places but um isn't that gorgeous i just thought i'd share that um yeah just look at the junk around you there's always something you can pull apart and reuse and look at these clock hands aren't they gorgeous even the face of the clock um he needs a clean up he's really dirty and dusty as you can see but um even the clock face i think you could use on on the front of a journal um, you may have to sand the corners. The corners are a little bit sharp because they're they're metal. Um, but you could you could tape them, put some um, cloth tape around the edges, and then you know fabrics or material or something around the edges to kind of hide them and just leave the clock face showing. But I thought I'd just show you that because um, I really really love using stuff around us and I think if one person can use these little gears instead of buying little chipboard pieces mass produced in China I'm happy to sit there and pull it apart for them <laughs> anyway that's it I thought I'd share that um, I'm gonna go finish pulling this apart and clean up thanks for watching bye